Hey makers this is Ravin and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can configure Azure AD B2C connection for the power pages we know that there are different type of authentication mechanism provided by power pages we can do local authentication as well as we can do facebook google linkedin microsoft and azure ad b2c authentication as well for our users in this episode we will be targeting azure ad b2c connection configuration in detail earlier what happen here is most of the time we were using the local account configuration with the portal pages now this is something which will be deprecated into upcoming feature so instead of using this local at account authentication we should use azure ad b2c authentication now first of all let me show you the end outcome how it will look like so let's say for an example this is the portal pages sign in now i'm just clicking on azure ad b2c sign in and it will open this kind of prompt where user need to enter email address and password all of these thing configurable in the azure ad b2c connection if you want to allow sign up for the user it will open this kind of sign up prompt for you also if you forget the password there is a screen for forget password mechanism now this all configuration can be done using azure ad b2c so let's get started for configuring this in detail but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform also i have observed only 30% of you have subscribed my channel 70% of you are watching the video but not subscribing the channel it is free for you but that motivates and that help me a lot so please do subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me to get started with azure ad b2c configuration first of all you need to open the azure portal where you have active subscription first of all open portal.azure.com click on create a resource and search for azure ad b2c from the search result click on azure active directory b2c make sure that your azure account has enough subscription over here you can find the different information about the plans review ratings etc click on create now over here we need to create new azure ad b2c tenant let's click on that first of all you need to provide here the name of the organization so let's say i'm just providing the organization name as azure b2c demo and provide the domain name so i'm just providing the name as power platform trainings azure b2c you can provide any domain name over here and now it will check against the domain name is available or not select the location i'm selecting us select the active appropriate subscription if you have activated trial just select your trial subscription and from resource group just create a new resource group or if you want to add that into your existing resource groups you can add here as well i'm simply creating a new resource group so i'm just providing the name as azure b2c as a resource group name so i provided that resource group location i'm just keeping as is and simply click on review plus create so let's do that click on create so it will start creating a tenant for you this will take some time wait for 5 or 10 minutes and here we are the tenant has been created successfully now click on that to navigate if you forget to navigate through from that link don't worry on the top right here we have an option to change the directories just click on that and over here it is showing us the new azure b2c tenant that we just created you can switch across the different tenants that you have created over here so i am over here so don't worry about that and now as a next step we need to go to the app registration from here so let's click on that and click on new registration now over here first of all we need to provide the name of our app so let's provide the name as azure b2c for power platform training you can give any name over here select the option account in any identity or organization directory 
Over here, you need to provide the redirect URL. So select the wave from here and provide the redirect URL. Now here, how to find its value? Let's check. So for that, open the Power Pages or Power Apps portal you have. So this is my Power Pages. So if I go to the App section, I can see that this is my Power Pages site. I can simply click on three dots from here and click on the setting gear. Over here, there is an option authentication setting. Over here, it will show the different identity providers. Over here, we need to select Azure Active Directory B2C. Let's click on configure. So this is the first step. You simply need to click on next. As soon as you click on next, you will find this reply URL. So this reply URL is nothing but your redirect URL. Copy this link from here and let's go to the Azure portal again and paste the same URL over here. So this is something which is your redirect URL. Upon doing that, click on register. So this will register your Azure AD B2C application. And here we are, it's done. Now let's copy couple of information from here. So let's say for an example, this is my client ID. This is something that we need moving forward. So let's copy the client ID from here and paste it in one of the notepad. And then we need to go to the authentication section from here. Now over here, make sure that you select both of these option access tokens and ID tokens for the authentication and simply click on save. Once we are good with the app registration, let's click on Azure AD B2C. And now it's time to configure the user flows for sign up and reset password. So from here, left navigation, click on user flows and click on new user flow. Over here, you can see different things like sign up and sign in, profile editing, password reset, sign up, sign in and sign in with resource owner password credential. So these options are self-explanatory. At the very beginning, I have shown you the demo where let's say for an example, when user click on sign in, at that time, you want to provide that kind of page. Over that page, you want to provide the sign up option as well to user. So you can simply use sign up and sign in. If you don't want to provide user for sign up capability, you can only create the flow for sign in. So, it is totally depending on you what type of thing you need. So over here, I want to do one thing. I want to provide sign up sign in option as well as I want to provide the reset password capability to the users. So I will configure two user flows from here. So let's click on sign up and sign in and click on create. Provide any name over here. So I am just providing the name here is sign up sign in and which identity you want to use for sign up sign in. I want to use email. So I'm using email from here. What type of multi-factor authentication you need? I want to go with email, but you can choose the other type. You can choose the MFA enforcement from the different available options over here and conditional access. If you want to enforce conditional access policy, you can simply check this option. Then user attributes and token claims. So which are the thing you want to collect as a part of your input and which are the things you want to provide as a part of your return claim. That is something you need to select from here. So from here, simply click on show more. So from this option, I want to collect email address. I want to collect display name and in return claim, I want to show the display name and I want to show email address as well. So I'm just providing, selecting this option, but depending on your requirement, you can choose the appropriate option for create. And now at the end, let's click on create to create that new user flow. So it is looking like this. Once you create that, it will open up like this. Similar way, let's create one more user flow. So I'm clicking on new user flow and selecting password reset, click on create. And now let's provide the name of the flow reset password. Same way reset password using email address. Uh, you want to provide 
any type of return claim over here so i'm just providing here email address and display name and click on ok and simply click on create so it is simply creating this user flow for us now what we need to do is we need to open both the user flow one by one so i'm just clicking on that and we need to simply click on the properties and under properties we have one option issue or claim make sure that from here you can select the second option so i'm just selecting this second option and click on save this is one of the most important step that you need to follow now over here on the top you can see run user flow so let's click on that so it is providing you this kind of prompt and simply click on this option to run the user flow and copy this issuer id from here because this is something that you need as a part of your next step so i'm just copying it and pasting in in one of my notepad now i need to go to the second user flow so i'm just going here and going to reset password user flow going to properties and changing this issuer claims and then saving this click on run user flow and click on the link from here and copy the issuer claim from here so copying the first line copy and pasting to one of my notepad again go here and simply click on azure adb to see so here we have both the name of the user flow so simply copy this name as well because this is also something that you need into your next step so i am just copying and pasting both of this name this name should be as is there should not be any sp spelling mistake on that so make sure that you follow that so i'm just doing that it is working fine and now let's move to our power pages so here i am so this is the step where we left last and now here we need to configure the different settings so first of all here we need to provide the authority url so authority url is nothing but the sign up sign in flows url that we copied so if you recall we have copied sign up sign in profile url so if you recall we copied the url from the sign up sign in so the same url that we need to consume it over here so let's go again and paste the url that we have copied earlier so i'm just copying and pasting then we need to provide the client id client id we already stored in our notepad i'm copying and i'm pasting that same way default policy id default policy id is nothing but the name of your sign up sign in profile that we have created so i'm just providing the id as b2c underscore one sign up sign in remember we copied at the very last step same way for reset password policy id you need to provide so this is also something we copied earlier this is the exact name of our user flow that we have created and then valid issuer so valid issuer is nothing but the urls that we have copied so one is the exact same as sign up sign in url so i'm copying the exact same thing over here and pasting it then we need to use comma so write comma and then we need to provide other url for reset password so what i'm doing here is i'm just copying this so reset password issuer url we already copied so let's just provide it so i'm pasting the other url for reset password and click on confirm so this will create some time to create configure the identity provider for us so let it to be configured and here we are we are done with this stuff now click on close and let's taste this feature in detail so now i'm just going to the power platform trainings now what i'm doing here is i'm opening my power pages site but before that for quick result let's restart our power pages so i'm clicking on these three dots clicking on setting and clicking on administration over here from the top left there is an option site action click on the restart site from here so i am simply restarting my website so let it to be happen and then let's go to the portal again and let's run our portal 
So I'm just clicking on browse. So I opened my Power Pages site, click on sign in. And here now we have an option Azure Ready B2C. Let's click on that to test. So I'm simply clicking on that. So this will redirecting me to this sign in page. So you can use email name and password. So let's say for an example, if you are a new as a user, you can sign up from here as well. So let's click on sign up. And over here, let's provide the email address. So I'm just providing my Gmail email address and clicking on send verification code. So this is all your Azure AD B2C authentication. So this is looking amazing and cool. So let's just send an email. So it will send an email on my Gmail account. So let me open up my Gmail. So in my Gmail, I have received this code. I'm just copying it and I'm pasting there and simply click on verify code. So this will verify. And after that, you can set up the password for your account. So I'm just setting a password. You can provide the display name for yourself. So I'm just providing the name as Thruvin Power Platform Trainings and simply click on create. So this is processing my information and you can see that this is Azure AD B2C authentication that is being happened in the URL. And now it redirected me over here to set up the profile for myself. So here I can simply set up Thruvin Power Platform Trainings. I can provide the name of the organization as Power Platform Trainings. Title, Mr. Nickname, through and website and policy I don't want to set up and click on simply update. So that it is something which is updating my profile for Power Pages. And now I logged in as Thruvin PPT. Now let me sign out myself and let's log in with the same user that we just created. So I'm just going again to the sign in option and using Azure AD B2C. So let's just use it and provide the password that we set up just now. So I'm just using that and clicking on sign in. And here we are sign in is successful and I successfully signed in as my account. So isn't that cool? So this is how we can configure Azure AD B2C authentication for Power Pages. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and press the bell notification and subscribe my channel. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. If you are looking for any training or consultation, the website link is available here. Just click on that. On the channel cover right page, you can find me on my Twitter, Instagram and other social media handle like podcast. And don't forget to subscribe my other channel, Digital Dhruvin, where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. So subscribe this and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.